All right, here we are. BKFC 39. Oh my God, we're here with the victorious Zach. The shark attack himself, Thomas in the house. Five knockdowns and a round and a half of work. My God, you're landing everything but the kitchen sink on this guy. Talk a little bit about your opponent, Michael Fournier, and how good you felt going in there and, and performing like that against, in front of this amazing crowd here in Virginia. Uh, I first want to thank this amazing Virginia crowd. I want to thank Mr. Feldman, Mr. Nate Shook, the matchmaker, and the whole entire BKFC as a whole. Um, this fight was only possible because of what a wonderful organization I fight for. So when I went out there to fight Michael, um, I just did what I do best. I used my jab, I found my range early, and then I was able to put combinations together and uh, eventually winning the fight, dropping him three times in the first, and I believe two times in the second. Michael Fernier being very tough, got up all five times. So um, a lot of respect on Michael Fernier, a ton of respect, and um, we'll definitely see him back. And um, if someone takes Michael lightly, they're going to go down. I'll tell you that. Like I said, Zach, you were landing everything on him. Combinations, dirty work in the clinch. Were you surprised that he keep get, kept going? And you talked about how tough he actually is. It, even on that fifth knockdown, he looked like he still wanted to get back up, but his gas tank wasn't keeping up with his heart. You know what I'm saying? Right. Well, um, I trained really hard um, with Blake Lacaz um, down in Monroe, Louisiana. Um, and his coach, Sparky, we trained out of uh, Monroe Boxing Club for this fight. In particular, we put in about uh, 31 rounds in four days, dog work. Uh, Blake is number one in 170 pound division. So if I'm working with a guy who's 6'7 in my sparring on the regular, um, me finding my rage against a guy who's 5'9 is a lot easier. He looks a lot smaller. Also, my other corner man, Steve Vukosa, is a WBC Green Belt World Champion. So he's a 6'7 lefty. So I have a 6'7 righty in Blake Lacaz, and I have a 6'7 lefty in Steve Vukosa. So my sparring partners are on point. And um, I think I can dedicate everything to my work and sparring and my training. And I want to thank A.J. Galanti and Champs Boxing Club for always being in my corner. Um, I want to thank Grealish Boxing Club. And um, I want to thank the Mike and Me Show for always having my back. Hell yeah, Zach. Well, you, know, you know we love us, we love you on our show over there. New England guys, we stick together. What can we expect next out of Zach Calmus? How soon? I mean, you got to do some, some healing up, obviously, because you landed a lot of shots. What's next for you? Uh, Michael hits really hard. My tooth is a little bit loose in the front. They told me to stop playing with it. It'll come back to normal. But he loosened my front tooth, Michael, with a hard right hook. And um, I got a two-month medical suspension due to the fight. Um, I won the fight, but I still took damage. Even though you can't see that much, I still have it. Um, he didn't get any stitches. I didn't get any stitches. So uh, my, my plan is to get through my medical suspension, not get off track, stay focused, stay hungry, help Blake get ready for his next fight. And um, you'll see me at Blake's next fight. And um, I'll be getting ready for a fight with, hopefully, uh, I'm looking for a rematch with Juan Torres. After him winning the championship of Texas, I'm looking for a Mickey Ward Gotti saga. I want three fights with the same guy. Out of respect. You hear this crowd, dude. The energy in this room is amazing. You always bring the energy. You're a fan favorite. Everybody wants to talk to you tonight. Go celebrate with your fans out here and enjoy yourself. We'll catch up down the road, buddy. show, baby, all day. BKFC 39, so Virginia, Zach Thomas. Here we go. Dude. Thank you. Yeah, man.